Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Let's start with the warning today from the Conservative Chair of the Health Select Committee that the NHS in England is under enormous pressure and needs much more money. Sarah Wollaston also says that government claims that the NHS in England is due to receive an extra £10 billion is misleading. It gives a, a false impression that the NHS is awash with cash and uh, in fact if you look at the way that that figure is reached it's by adding another year to the spending review and also by changing um, pots of money from one part of um, the health budget to another so for example taking money out of public health and health education and so forth and so it can give an impression that more is given when in fact the real figure is, is very considerably lower. Sarah Wollaston there. In fact, the real figure, she says, is four and a half billion, so less than half. Is she right or the government? Well, I have a great deal of respect for Sarah, and I think that she's said some good things today about the need to get more money into uh, prevention and, uh, and primary care. But I think she is wrong on the numbers. Um, we have funded the NHS's own plan. Um, they asked us, uh, we, we asked them how much they needed. They said initially eight billion. Uh, that rose to ten, and we have given them that money. Right, but also the money in is local going. Government. But hang on, the money is going to NHS England, which is, albeit an important part, but one part of mm -hmm. the NHS. What Sarah Wollaston is saying is that other parts of the NHS, so for instance social care, is actually losing money. Money's been taken from that budget to boost another part. So the NHS as a whole is not getting a £10 billion boost. No. So two points. First of all, we have funded the NHS's own plan. Uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is, with regard to all the other services that, um, such as social care, um, that in particular local government funds, local government uh, reserves have doubled since 2010. There's two, 22 and a half billion currently sat in local government reserve accounts. But every I'm local government saying, person on this programme has not, said yeah. they have been cut to the bone yeah. and actually social care has been starved of funding over a longer period of time than actually boosting the reserve just recently. Don't get me wrong, there are challenges there, um, but money is going into these areas. Um, 5.3 billion with the Better Care Fund and we've also enabled local government to raise its own money. We've relaxed the rules around how much council tax uh, can be raised locally provided it is spent on social care. But money is not the only issue here. The way we are actually going to get uh, the, all the money that's available in the system to work uh, best is if we're enabling people at a local level to put that money into prevention and early services. But she's making it piling it onto acute care. I take that point, but she's making quite a serious accusation, which is the government has misled the public. Have they misled no. the public? And so she is wrong. Uh, absolutely. Well, um, except, it is, it let, is. Me, let me just take you, though, through how she yep, reaches certainly. the four and a half billion, because she says you only arrive at that health budget of £10 billion in terms of a boost over five years by shifting money from public health budgets and health education and training and also including an extra year in the calculation, so 2014-2015, rather than just the term mm. of this parliament. Well, that is misleading, that's sleight of hand. No, this is, this is funding the NHS's own plan. There are, there are all sorts of other issues she raises about some particular pressures that, that healthcare faces, inflation and, and so forth on, on drug costs and things like that. But this is about us supplying the money that the NHS said it needed. Uh, we, we, made, we were the only um, political party to make that commitment at a general election and since then Labour obviously always contests it. that and always we've, says we've actually that that's been a misinterpretation two, by, two by the Conservatives and government. So you're saying that the money has not been shifted from any other budget and that the, including this extra year which they haven't been clear about isn't misleading. Well, I, I don't uh, uh, follow what Sarah says when she, she says, um, you know, we're claiming that uh, the system is awash with cash. Mm. We've never claimed that. We know that uh, there are every year increasing uh, pressures, uh, an, an older 
population being just one of them. Um, so we know that there are serious challenges out there, but we have made this a priority. We have said to the NHS, give us your plan, tell us what you need, and we will meet that. And in addition to that, um, we have enabled local government in on top of the Better Care Fund, uh, which is going into social care, we've enabled it to raise its own money too. Right. Well, she says she's going to be having conversations with uh, Philip Hammond um, at the Treasury about this, so that conversation should be interesting. Thank you. I've been getting away with it all.